go with your gut. If something's telling you it doesn't seem right, or if you're working with someone that doesn't seem like they have your best interest at heart, get a second opinion. Hello, this is Mark Silverman, managing member and founder of Silverman & Associates, and I'm also a certified financial planner professional. I wanna welcome you to the Saving with Silverman podcast. I'm glad you're here. Each week we'll discuss different financial planning topics because making smarter choices about your money impacts the quality of your life. We polled our listeners to find out what their biggest financial fears are, and I'm wondering how you help people address these specific fears in their retirement plan. Of course, the number one fear that everybody has, I guess, is running out of money before you die. Uh, how do you help people avoid that situation? Yeah, and I would agree with that statement. Um, yeah, most people, that's, that is their number one concern, making sure that they have enough money to live. You know, uh, it's having a financial plan. That's really the only way. You know, if somebody's out there trying to sell you an annuity, even if it gives you some lifetime income, et cetera, you know, who knows if that income will be enough, et cetera, or they're selling you some investment product or vehicle, you know, you got to be leery. The only way to know that you're in good shape is by having a comprehensive financial plan and, you know, typically done by a certified financial planner doing it. So we give all of our clients have a plan. So, you know, we don't make any recommendations until we've done our analysis before we even get into investments and that sort of thing is understanding, looking at your goals, saying, here's where you are, here's where you want to be, look at life projections and making sure that there's going to be enough money using inflation, which, you know, we've talked about this before, but I think inflation's finally come to roost, if you will. Yeah. Um, the cost of everything has gone up, mm -hmm. everything. So, I mean, if you look at that, you know, we need to make sure that you have enough money. Um, and inflation is the biggest problem that anybody's going to have, whether you're still working or retired, that you're going to have to contend with. So um, having a comprehensive financial plan, that's the solution. Yeah, and that's going to be a mighty big factor, the inflation thing that you just mentioned, because a lot of people who try to do it themselves, uh, you know, don't even take that into account. And these days, that is going to be a serious problem. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks out there are scared that they might blow through their entire nest egg, if they have one, to pay for nursing home care during the final few years of their lives. And that's true. And we just talked about inflation, but medical inflation is on a whole nother spectrum. You know, that's probably double or triple what inflation is running as far as health care. Uh, and, you know, most people that are concerned with that either just had a spouse or maybe a parent or another loved one or friend that had to go into a nursing home and they see what the cost is. And yes, it can be very, very expensive. Again, nobody wants to go into a nursing home. I get that. Uh, unfortunately, people do. Um, I can tell you it's, it, that hits very home to me. My mom you know, has been in a nursing home for about two and a half years, yeah. never wanted to be in one, never thought we'd have to put her in one, but you know, things happen yeah. um, and it's a tough thing. So how do you pay for it? Obviously you can self-pay, but there are strategies out there that can offset those costs and leverage some of your money to pay for those other than having traditional long-term care insurance. And, of course, on the subject of taxes, uh, just like inflation, I mean, uh, taxes are, are going to go up. We, we know that's uh, pretty much going to happen. But a lot of people, you know, don't really mind, uh, you know, paying. Well, nobody's crazy about it, but a lot of people don't really mind paying their fair share. But you want to make sure that you don't have to pay more taxes than you need to pay. Absolutely. So we're not talking about tax avoidance. And again, everybody has to pay their fair share. What seems to happen is the people that don't pay or pay very little feel that the ones that do pay the most of it aren't paying their fair share, which is absolutely wrong. Yeah. But, you know, that's nothing new. But, you know, taxes are going up. You know, with the money, amount of money that they're spending, and I forget what percentage of this last stimulus was printed, but I, I heard somewhere around 40% is what I heard. I don't know if that's official of the money that was given out was printed. So um, it's a scary thing with the amount of money that we're spending this debt. I don't see how it could ever get paid off, no matter yeah. if they taxed us 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to get paid off. And so inflation is a big problem and taxes are going up no matter what. Um, hopefully it doesn't go up to the extent that they're trying to push through, but I think they'll, they're definitely going up to some extent. Here on uh, Saving with Silverman, uh, one of the topics we talk about a lot is legacy, and uh, legacy is more important to some people than it is to others. But there are lots of folks out there listening to the show right now who are fearful of not having anything left to pass on to their kids, or even worse, having to rely on their kids for financial help late in life. Yeah. And there, you know, like you said, there's there's two different camps that we deal with. One is, you know, parents that say, you know, we're going to live our life. If there's anything left over, fine. If there isn't, it's our money. 
that's certainly fine. And there's others that want to give money to their kids, grandkids, etc., and will will forsake some of their stuff that they're doing now be, to to give more to their kids, and that's their choice too. And then you know, on the boat, I think in the, in both cases, they don't want to be a burden to their children. They want to make sure that they're self sufficient. Yeah. Um, so understanding that, and again, this ties into having a financial plan as well. And I wanted to mention just one more here, and on this topic of financial fears, there are some folks uh, out there who are scared of getting taken advantage of by an advisor who does not have their best interests at heart. As they should, and it's unfortunate. You know, there's good and bad in every industry. Um, seems like there's quite a few bad in our industry, but there are good people. Uh, I wouldn't say certain firms are bad versus good. There's good and bad people at both firms. Sure. But you got to understand their motivation. You know, if somebody, you know, is just touting annuities, which a lot of people, especially on the radio are, which are high commission products, they're not fiduciaries, I can tell you that. A lot of them are not even securities licensed, so they don't even fall under that realm. Uh, they're there to just sell you a product and move on. It's turn and burn, if you will. Yeah. Um, and there's others here, and one firm in particular that calls themselves a fiduciary, and they're not. They're mainly an annuity shop. They're just selling annuities. They have some security business to, to tout that they're fiduciaries, but they're really not. So you do have to be careful. You know, do a background check. Make sure they're a CFP. If, you, if, you, if they're a CFP, at least you know that they've been vetted, if you will, and in good standing. You know, certainly happy. You know, we check all those boxes, of course. We're independent. Um, I'm a CFP, fiduciary, et cetera, an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau, you know, all those sorts of things. So we check all those boxes, but, um, you know, happy to have a conversation with anybody. But, you know, understanding, making sure you're not taken advantage of because, you know, you're handing over your life savings to somebody. You want to make sure that they're doing the best job. And, again, go with your gut. If something's telling you it doesn't seem right or if you're working with someone that doesn't seem like they have your best interest at heart, get a second opinion. You've been listening to the Saving with Silverman podcast. If you have any questions at all about your financial situation, please give Mark Silverman a call. Again, his number is 520-333-7601 or go online to savingwithsilverman.com. For Mark Silverman, I'm Ron Stutz. We'll see you next time on the Saving with Silverman podcast. The Saving with Silverman podcast is brought to you by Silverman & Associates Wealth Management, LLC, based in Tucson, Arizona. The show is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and everywhere you listen to shows. Subscribe to the show on your favorite app today and never miss an episode. Just search for Saving with Silverman to find us or visit savingwithsilverman.com to listen to past episodes, to contact Mark, and to learn more about how to make smarter decisions with your money. Did you know that Mark Silverman also has a radio show? Tune in to Saving with Silverman Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. on AM 790 KNST. All matters discussed on this show are for informational purposes only. Opinions expressed are solely those of Silverman and Associates Wealth Management LLC and staff. All topics covered are believed to be from reliable sources. However, Silverman and Associates Wealth Management LLC makes no representation as to its accuracy or completeness. The show shall in no way be construed as a solicitation to sell securities or investment advisory services to residents of any state other than Arizona or where otherwise permitted. Topics should be discussed with your individual advisor prior to implementation. Fee-based financial planning and investment advisory services offered through Silverman and Associates Wealth Management LLC, a registered investment advisor in the state of Arizona. Insurance products and services are offered through Silverman and Associates, an affiliated company.